Hello, friends. You are welcome by the icon painting studio Iconic. I'm Alexei Dovner, and this is the diary of an icon painter. Right now we're in Poland, in the city of Supersul, in the Holy Annunciation Monastery, where our team and I are restoring 16th century frescoes, following the original technology and style. Well, I'll begin with the fact that we started working on these frescoes in the middle of summer 2019. During this time we painted two full walls, and now we have moved to the ceilings of the choirs, where we write not on dry plaster, but on a dry wall, with silicate materials. I will tell you a little how it all began. The Supersul Annunciation Monastery was founded in 1498 by the magnate of the Great Duchy of Lithuania, Alexander Hatkevich. In 1511, the construction of the cathedral was completed, and in 1557, an artel of icon painters led by the Serb Nectarius was invited to paint the temple. On July 21, 1944, during the retreat of German troops, the temple was destroyed. Only the columns and the basement remained intact. Only 30 fragments of frescoes have survived. Currently, the frescoes have been restored and are exhibited in the Supersul Museum of Icons. The revival of the monastery began during the years of the Archbishop of Białystok's Gdańsk Diocese, Vladika Sava. In 1984, it was decided to restore the destroyed Annunciation Cathedral. And on June 4th, Archbishop Sava laid the foundation stone for the new cathedral. And in the summer of 2019, our workshop Iconic was invited to restore these frescoes. For us, as well as for the whole of Belarus, this temple is of great importance, so we immediately came here. Hello, friends! It's August 5, 2019. I'm in the city of Supersul. Let's go to the temple. Let's see what's inside. The preparations for the holiday are underway here. Cleaning and in parallel we have already started working. Our colleague, Dmitri, is laying plaster for the fresco, for the future composition and the ornament. The wall is prepared for painting for the frescoes on a layer of plaster. This is the work of a previous artist, who has already painted quite a lot. This is Viktor Lenidovich Dovner, the head of the project, head of the Iconic Icon Painting Workshop. Now we are already on the scaffolds. That's the way it is around here. Well, these are the dry pigments that we will use. Some are already rubbed and some are still waiting. We make the colors to match the scale that should have been uh, historical, which has been preserved. These are our experimental coloring of the colors themselves. Now let's go to the museum and see the originals. Unfortunately, it's a bit dark here. Well, this is what remains of the original frescoes. In fact, this is all in such a state 
of puzzle pieces, some of the frescoes, were somehow assembled, restored, renovated from pieces. Colossal work. But now we have something to start from. And what to focus on. We are in a museum, a museum where the original Supersul frescoes have been preserved. Original ones, they've been restored of course, but nevertheless they have kept all their secrets. And we reveal these secrets. First of all, it's the selection of colors. How we select colors, it's primarily the task of Alexei, who feels sees all these shades of color as if it is music. And this is very important, because what we are choosing now will be brighter. But over time, both patina and some of the changes will give the fresco the proper look that the museum now keeps in these old frescoes. Well, we don't have a task to make a vintage copy, but our task is to paint new frescoes in the same style as the old frescoes were painted in. But for this, so that historically everything was most consistent with what was in this temple, we are now engaged in the selection of colors in the museum. This is very difficult, because there is no light here, and we have to wait for our samples to dry. We examine them in daylight, comparing to the originals. Well, this part of work has already been done. Let's go and have a look at the colors right on the wall. Thank you. My friends, thank you for watching. In our diary, we will cover our everyday life, some techniques, some time lapses. I think it will be interesting, so subscribe and be with us. Thank you.